So um, there, how many um, blooms do we need? <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> if we're going to make a pot, I would say get <coughs> maybe uh, just like maybe a little handful, like about that. A yeah, if you got like a handful, mm -hmm. that would probably be enough. And then you can get however many stinging nettles you want because we can either eat it or make tea with it or whatever. Maybe we should all have a shot of juice. If you want to, yeah, we could okay. do that. Powerful or, stuff. I don't know. I think maybe the tea would probably be good enough. Okay. All right. Come on along, guys. Yay. Woohoo. We got a whole crew coming to help. <laughs> Painted Chad. Wow, I never made that connection small with man apple. manzanita and small apple in, in Spanish. The fall, they have these red berries, they're, they're little apples. Oh. But now they're really beautiful and they smell like honey. Yeah, they mm. do. Take a sniff. <laughs> oh my goodness, those smell really good. Yeah. So, and I guess from what Bear tells me, um, the bears really like to eat them, the berries. And, uh, huh. So we're just gonna. You told me we could make tea, and I wanna try it. So I should have brought a scissor. We're just gonna take a little bit. Okay. He said he didn't need very much. Oops. But this tree, these trees are so beautiful. The red bark and um, yeah, mm -hmm. they're really unique to this area. Well, okay. It's interesting how they always grow so sideways. Mm -hmm. They this this kind of tree? Yeah, like it starts yeah, to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I heard they were in an are, are they an invasive species? Or is that incorrect? I, I thought I heard that someplace. To be. I mean around here they're all over. Yeah. I think they're like maybe maybe if they are, they're the kind people like though. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, really I've heard good things about okay, them. So we're gonna Take that and make tea. Okay. All right. Okay, and then the stinging nettles are up here. My uh, boyfriend thing is actually like cut down a bunch of manzanitas uh -huh. um, and some property my friend needed to clear, and he's carving walking sticks out of them. Yeah, just, so. it's just such pretty wood. It's yeah, really, re it's, it's really, really pretty. Yeah. Chickens out, but it's keeping me out. <laughs> so this whole center area, most of that is stinging now. Oh wow! See, I would, I wouldn't know that you could do something with that, and I would probably just like, rip it up. <laughs> That's what I was doing originally. Yeah. But you rip it up, and it stings so bad. <laughs> so you know, there's something about this plant. Um, so I ran into the house. Like, ow, ow, ow. And he's like, oh, you, you must have touched the stinging nettles. Yes. Um, do you want to feel the, do you want to, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to feel it. It's not terrible, terrible. I, I might have touched it earlier because I had something stung me earlier in the grass. Yeah. Well, it stings. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been it. Can you hand it. me that white colander? But apparently, it's just like fantastic for you, and we've been juicing it. Is it? Is it? Does it have like a lemon taste? No, it's kind of bitter. Hmm. Um, what could it? What? But people, I guess, steam it and um, eat it a lot, like you would eat kale. Interesting. Um. And it makes this 
fantastic bright green juice like wheatgrass. And you don't have to cook it then if you're juicing it? Uh-uh. But you do have to wear gloves or we put a baggie over our hand when we're juicing it to shove it in the juicer, you know? So is it like a chemical on the leaf that stings you or is it the really, is it just really pokey? I think it's really ultra fine little hairs. Oh, okay. So they get into your hand like splinters. And then when you juice them, that gets, yeah, it gets break, broken destroyed. down. Yeah. See, I, I would, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm just cutting it because I don't want to kill it. I want it to keep growing because we have our own superfood here. Yeah. That's a good like survival, um, survival knowledge when you're in, in the wild, stranded, and you need some nourishment, yeah. you know, what to eat. I saw, do you know who David Wolf is? Oh, I mean. He's a raw food guy, real popular, and he was eating them raw. Um, Ouch. Yeah. By making, he said, like you can come up, like eat, fold them like a taco and pull them off and eat them. Oh. I haven't tried. Does that hurt your finger? But actually, right now, that's not hurting at all. It's not stinging. So the if you grab it from must underneath? Be the, yeah. The stinging stuff must be on top. I wonder if it stings your tongue or if your tongue is too... Uh, it does sting a little. It does sting yeah, a little on your tongue? Yeah. Okay. I haven't tried myself. Guess it depends how hungry you are. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Make sure I'm just getting nettles and nothing else. So, there's, um, I was in Nepal last year, and apparently there's some monks that, for months and months and months, they only eat stinging nettles. Oh. They have stinging nettle tea, and they turn green. <laughs> they turn green. Oh, they really do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, my mom used to obsessively juice carrots, uh -huh. and she started to turn orange. Yeah. Like her feet and her hands yeah. got a tinge no to it. Mm -hmm. well, when you see yeah. the juice that comes yeah. out of it, it's so green. Mm -hmm. you know? and yeah, I, yeah. I've been told, we haven't made tea with it yet, but I, I was told that it makes like the most beautiful emerald green tea. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I come to think of it, I think I've heard of it, of making tea out of nettles. Yeah. I know I've, I've heard of using it for food, but I never made the connection between the stuff that stings me out in the yard and <laughs> the right. tea. Yeah, it took me a while too. Yeah. But, um, it's supposed to be just so nutritious. They're more efficient. And the ones that are, are those things that are flowering, those aren't nettles I think over they there? Are. They are. And then, and then if they're flowering, do you not want to eat them? I don't know. Or do you know if there's like a limit? Oh no, that's something else. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks like. I don't know what that is. Do you know if there's such a thing as like a nettle that's too mature to eat, where it would like affect the yeah. flavor? Yeah, you want them younger. You want them younger? Yeah. So you want to pick off the tops. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Do they flower eventually? Yeah, they'll flower. And that's a sign it's too old to eat? Uh, by, the time it's, by the time the flowers are mature, yeah. I mean, you can make a tea out of it still. Uh huh. And you can boil them. Okay. You can still eat it. It's just, it's just nicer when it's younger. It's all tender and stuff. Yeah. If any of that lettuce is ready, you could probably pick some of it too. Although I don't. We, it's all we, ready. We don't need to pick it because we got, we got some in the kitchen. But we know that it's ready. Once that stuff in the kitchen works, those we don't need to buy some. We can eat yeah. It. This is all ready. Looks, we can make some looks good. That's cilantro. What is that? Oh, uh, that'd make Emily happy. Cilantro. Uh, what is it? Cilantro, it's, it's it's in a lot of, some people really don't like it, I'm one of those people. Yeah. You either yeah, love it or hate it type thing, I think. It's in a lot of Mexican food. Yeah. Oh, I know this, I, um, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Cilantro. Cilantro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's a good ingredient in, in like, vodka or something like that. In what? In, in like, Thai food. Oh, vodka yeah, with yeah. With coconut milk and stuff like that. Uh-huh. See, to me, cilantro tastes like soap, like dish soap. Yeah, I can, I can, yeah. a little bit, yeah. 
but I, I hate it. I can't eat it. If, if, if there's even like a tiny leaf of cilantro in my food, it ruins the whole I experience. I used to hate yeah. it too. Really? Until I was like 35 and then suddenly I liked it. So I'll try and keep an open <laughs> mind. <laughs> I feel like, it, I mean, I thought it tasted just like B.O. Yeah, like, like a dirty, to me it tastes like a dirty dish rag yeah. <laughs> that you've been using and yeah. need to throw away. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but I want to like it because, you know, it's in a lot of things. Yeah. I really want to like it. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Yep. All right. Oh, grab. Oh, the little chicken went for the oh, the manzanita nice. flower. Oh, what? That's why you're um, following us, trying to see yeah. what you can score. Yeah. Yes, chickens are evil. <laughs> yeah. They're picking all that stuff. And the <laughs> <laughs> they, they had a plan when they were following us. <laughs> They were probably conspiring <laughs> as we were walking in front of them. Their thinking is, oh, how nice of them picking all this for us. <laughs> 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 I'm the camera person. Those, the, uh, those two. Okay, so here's the nettles. If you touch it, it will hurt. And then there's the yeah. That'll make a, a tea. Uh, um, I would say that that one, this is probably about enough for the. Mm. Uh, it's gonna make it pretty weak. Hmm. Mm, that's probably all right. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Let me see. It smells just like honey. God, that's awesome, mm -hmm. right? That smells so good. Your ants were loving them. Mmm. Okay, and then the nettle. I wonder if that's going to be better. Yeah, that's good. I didn't wash them. You didn't wash them? At all? It's probably got dirt and shit on them. What? I bet if you put a bouillon cube in that and some of that nettles juice and maybe some nettles, it would be a nice soup. These look pretty. Okay, so we're going to see what your reaction is to... Which one are you having? First I'm going to have the... The... Um, manzanita flour tea. What are you doing there? I'll put some sugar. Uh, maybe I'll put some honey. Is it, I want to know before you put the honey, is it sweet or not sweet? It smells good. A little like lavender. Mm. Mm. Oh, brother. <laughs> you need honey. Just a little bit. Is it sweet? Uh, it's a little sweet. 